tall, dark and handsome. <laughs> It used to be my sanctuary, it was my studio, but that has always been a sanctuary, a place where I can go, disconnect from the world, especially listen to music and paint. A lot of things. Traffic and irresponsible drivers. People who don't syndicate their intentions in roundabout, for instance. That's my personal issue. It really gets me angry. one that always keeps coming back. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That film really changed my, my perception of life and madness and all that. I found it a, a brilliant film. And it goes to show that every, everybody has an element of madness in them. Obviously, there are different, different levels, but everyone can have, and if pushed to extremes, everyone can commit a, a, you know, an act of craziness, as it were. quite a few. <laughs> I like my drink, <laughs> that's one of them, and, ah, but not really any, any serious ones. But yes, it's good every now and then to let go and enjoy and not be too, too constrained in life. You have to at times and, and, and enjoy life. Probably that would sum it all up, enjoy life and take things lightly and not take yourself too seriously either. I was quite mischievous at school, and I, I, I used to go to a Christian Brothers, uh, the Langwood Preparatory School, and it was very, very uh, uh, strict, it was a strict school. But I enjoyed getting away, doing things, not being caught, and that's what I learned the most in that school. You can do anything you want as long as you don't get caught. And I, I, I can't remember particular instances, but I do know that I became very good at doing things and never getting caught. I take my coffee espresso, black, one sugar. Cheers. <laughs>